Welcome back to my bathroom, which has a lot of echo problems, which is gonna make this video a terrible. Ignore the ball. Now, I've modified my mirror so I could stand in front of it. Link to that in the description, because that's from Amazon, and I'm sure whoever printed it didn't pay the artist, so I'll try to find the original artist too. This was my Christmas gift to myself. Because I don't need speakers, I don't need headphones, I don't need amplifiers, I don't need literally almost anything except for like driveway paving and to change my propane heat over to um, a heat pump. So what do you buy yourself? Now, I'm not a huge Dyson fan. I think that should be known. I don't necessarily, like, like I got the hair dryer, but that looks like the Dyson, but it ain't the Dyson. It's some random kung fu and it's actually pretty nice but dyson is like overpriced and i especially fucking hate i gotta try to get some of this echo out of here hold on all right and i especially fucking hate we're in the office now by the way we're going to my office i fucking hate the fans i need that the um all the the what do they call them bladeless fans that dyson sells because they do their job, like they blow air and there's no physical hand cutting blade that you can touch. But my uncle bought one for my cousin to use in a pizzeria. And the problem is there is a blade in the base spinning like crazy and you can't clean it. So when it gets pizza grease on it, it's ruined on the inside where if it's a regular fan, you just wipe the blades off. So they, they fuck around with it like, oh, it's got no blades. It's totally got blades. They're buried. So. Can Jam 2017, I think, pre-COVID, wait pre-COVID, 2017 or 2018. I was in New York with DMS, we're hanging out, and I go and I use the bathroom and they have the Dyson V hand dryer. And it's the first time I've ever used one of them. And I was like, because I used to have the ones you stuck your hands in, that was like, I don't want to put my hand in that. Some other guy put his hand in that, he's drunk, he's touching the side, I don't want to, ugh. But I felt like dipping your hands into just pure fucking, evaporated homeless piss. I don't want to do that. But then this one showed up on the walls at the convention center in on Times Square. And I'm like, oh, 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 that's going to blow her off there. Please don't. Please stay. And I'm like, I want to own one of these. So that was like, it's 2022 now. I got it for Christmas in 2021. That's like four years. I've been eyeballing a Dyson hand dryer. And like I own my own home now, so I could do this. I had a towel. Actually, this had nothing. And I was just sitting here washing my hands. And then I I had to like walk elsewhere. By the way, I built that towel holder. It's nice. Get a towel there. So I put a towel holder here, and I'm drying my hands with a towel. And I'm like, this is this could be so much better. This could be better. And finally I broke down and bought the Dyson. Um no gemstone in the title, but fucking close. Uh, they used to sell a plastic white version and a stainless steel version. And the white version was 700 and the stainless steel version was 800. They stopped selling the variety and now they just sell plastic ones that look stainless steel and they're $850. So I spent fucking 800 and fuck dollars 50 fuck to buy this because I had it in my, it was, it was it. This is the sign of the times. It's like, all right, you've made it. You've got a bidet, bidet in there. Now I have an electric hand dryer soon. Maybe I'll have a urinal. I don't know. I've always kind of wanted a urinal. They make sense for if you have a man and a woman living together. Um, so what I'm going to do is I have the tool. It comes with a, a security bit to take it off the wall because I had to install this obviously. And I'll just go through the innards and then I'll explain why this is the best choice for drying your hands and why those other cheap units, which I'll link one or two cheap units in the description, uh, hand dryers, why those suck and why this one's better. Keeping in mind that I'm not a fan of Dyson, but the tech is here. So give me a sec. All right, so the two things that hold this together are these security screwed, hex bolts that go down here and here. The reflection is not that great. Um, you just take those out and then the unit just lifts off the wall like so. Completely and utterly because you can see I did not, because I have a sliding door here, running the electrical back there is possible, 
but then I'd have to get to like, there's a closet and then there's a back, there's a panel here, so the plug, so it'd been a nightmare. Everyone's like, why didn't you install it correctly, Zeus? I really hate the echo in here. I installed this on, in fact, I installed this the morning I figured out I had COVID, because on the 27th, I woke up, I was excited, Christmas gift, mounted it to the wall, yeah, take COVID test, positive, fuck. And then, you know, so it was bad for the rest of the week, but I decided to go with an external wiring method for both laziness and just um, because. And I, I built the cable. I have, I bought these uh, connectors, which will rotate in any orientation. And I have it rotated to be like that. And this is the cable. And I bought these originally to build uh, power cables for audio equipment. So I could have custom length ones for my review space. So I could just plug them in. And uh, I can plug this in again. Uh, power comes up. This is a tube actually from this. Wow, I just realized this canvas that I ordered from Amazon was wrapped around a plastic tube and I just put this white plastic tube, I didn't even have to cut it, it's the perfect length. So it just sort of like, it sort of sits there. Could I do a better job? Could I f fucking open up, like yank this door off? You have to pull the door off and try to get in there and run away. No, I'm not doing it. I ain't doing it. I'm not doing it. Wait till I try to put a TV there. And then this door goes here and there's no there's no place to put a TV because I want to be able to sit in the tub and watch the reflection of the TV or be in the shower and watch TV. It's gonna be great. It's gonna be great. Anyway, so the Dyson literally installs in the wall. You got this plastic backing. There's two heavy mounted screws here, full full um wall mount with the with the uh, expansion joints. And then the bottom two here, which really aren't holding any like pulling weight, I just put some dry drywall screws in and some washers because they're a little bit bigger holes than I'd like. So two drywall screws and two anchors at the top and you're done. And this unit with the power comes here and comes down and you obviously can use any wire you want. If you tap through the back, you can use Romex or you can use BX. This whole block assembly comes off and you can see these three prongs match up here on the back of the unit and that's what delivers power to the excess to the thing, which is what makes the motor go. So it's all here and there's sensors somewhere in here. Everything's invisible. Um, let me explain now, now that you've seen this. This is a 1000 watt motor. See, this is nice and loose so you can take it off. A 1000 watt motor, if you look up any other hand dryers, any other hand dryers, you're gonna, they're gonna say, oh, it's got a 400 watt motor or a 300 watt motor and a 200 watt heating element or a 500 watt heating element. I just wanna get out of the echo, sorry. And the reason the Dyson is better than most hand dryers, well, certainly better than most electric hand dryers, but there's different like arguments by the echo. The echo here is bad too. Just walk into my goddamn office. The reason, Drying your hands with a towel is bad because you have a damp towel that sits there for a day, two days, three days, and just it's moist and it's not sanitary. Then there's the paper towels you can throw away, that's fine. But then there's hand dryers, like electric ones, like the ones you get at bowling alleys, those world dryer ones, you know the ones I'm talking about. And those have heating elements in them. You hit the button and it blows air, kind of. And it's hot air and it's like, oh good. But those heating elements heat up and then they cool down slowly. So they keep it at like a perfect breeding temperature for bacteria. Because parts of the unit inside will be at like 140 degrees for a while, or just under 140 degrees. So what Dyson did, and this is why I, I don't like Dyson, but occasionally they accidentally do something fucking amazing. This has no heating element. This is a 1000 watt motor, and that's the only draw of the entire unit. It's got these huge, uh, Filters on the side, left and right, which you can detach and I think change things out. Here's the motor assembly, here's a soft tube, and here are the ports where the air comes out. These like one millimeter wide ports. So the way this heats the air, because if you use it, the air is warm. But see, it has no heating element. How does it heat the air? Well, we see, instead of using like a 300 watt motor and a 700 watt heating element to try to heat the air, they just use a thousand watt fuck you Dyson motor and they squeeze the air through a one millimeter wide channel, which is right here. And it actually heats it up via compression. This way, when the unit runs, it's cooling itself with this motor. There's no heat inside. Actually, the heat of the motor, whatever's generated is cooled and expelled through the thing. But once it's done, 
there's no heat left. It, it doesn't have to, the heat occurs here, right along that edge, right where it sticks out. It goes and it's fucking, it's, it actually gets warm. They tell you in the manual, you should be within a half inch of this to get the full effect of the heat. Like it's not gonna heat the air over here. You have to be where the compression is taking place, but that's a pretty freaking amazing scientific endeavor to use a hand dryer with just a massive fuck you motor to actually heat the air via compression. So let's put this back on the wall now. So there's three lips up top. Uh, I've only had to do this once. So let's see how good I am. And then it should line up and that's it. Uh, I'm gonna unplug it for now because when you first plug it in, they say to leave it alone for two minutes to let it scan the environment. To, so it doesn't get false ons and offs. Oh, I would also recommend not putting it this close to your sink because my elbow will occasionally just turn it on. And the worst was when I was trimming my mustache. I was trimming my mustache and beard and the hair was going into the sink and then it went woo and it went woo. So that's just hilarious. It's hilarious, you funny guy Dyson. Um, yeah, let me put this back, let me screw this back together and we'll, we'll talk about it. We've given it, I gave it like five minutes to come and calibrate itself. So now, here, wash hands. I usually do the shake. Now, I've added the towel for several reasons. Number one, when your hands are soaking wet, blowing them takes forever. So giving like a quick, like, gets most of the water off. But then, oh yeah. The warmth is amazing. Now this is mounted too high, I gotta say. I don't know if you can hear me, let me wait for it. I'm gonna go until it stops. Uh, warm my fingertips up. This is so good. You guys should really enjoy one of these. Uh, I'm not gonna stop it, I'm gonna stay here. Oh, uh, boy, it's so hot now. The compressed air is just hot. There's no heat. So that was as long as it'll run before it shuts off and then it has to reset for, I think, there's like a, it'll come back on, but it won't let you like run it continuously. I was kind of curious if this unit was gonna have any options internally, cause I've never installed a commercial hand dryer before. And I thought maybe there would be like a sensitivity thing, like does it pick me up here, does it pick me up here? It, it, it completely auto calibrates. So I have to leave it alone. And it's never not worked when I wanted it to, and it's only ever worked when I didn't want it to when I accidentally put my fucking elbow into it. Um, I also thought maybe it would have an adjustment for um, length. Like, does it blow for 10 seconds and shut off? Because if you put this in like a bowling alley or you put it in a convention center, you want to like hurry the fuck up, get the fuck out of there, and how long it takes to reset. And you know, hoping for like, like when you get a demo unit for your car and it's like in demo mode, it's like, ah, you put it into like actual use mode doesn't have any of that. It's pretty much however long that was, 30, 35 seconds of drying capability. The concerns for using a commercial hand dryer in a residential space. This is not a tile wall. Mostly there's a tile wall or even stainless steel all the way to the floor um, when you use a hand dryer. And that's because as you're blowing off, if you're blowing off full wet hands, it's throwing the water somewhere. The water isn't, hold please. Okay, so now that that's not um, calling me, um, what were they talking about? All right, so I thought there were settings, there were no settings. Um, backsplash for heavy water throw. The, the towel sort of takes care of that. Also the fact that this is, like I said, it's a house in an environment at a fucking, at Yankee Stadium, 200 people are gonna use this every 14 minutes. So of course it's gonna throw lots of water on the floor and it's gonna make a mess. Cause my friends were concerned about, you know, your, water, your wall's gonna get ruined. And I used it before I moved the towel holder here. And there was a drops here and there, but it's not enough to ruin the wall. But over the course of use of years, it'll probably do something. So having the towel here does multiple things. Number one, I could dry off my mass hands. I can dry my face. Um, this should be mounted lower. Legitimately, they instruct you to mount it so when you're standing with your elbows straight, you want that's where you want to be drawing your hands. Now, mine's about eight inches higher than that, which does benefit me 
because I can put the towel holder at a comfortable position underneath it. I can dry my face with the, I'll link to the, if I can link to a ring towel holder, I'll do that. Dry my face with this. It collects any of the water thrown. Also the jet of air is here. It comes out forward. It doesn't shoot down against the wall. It doesn't shoot straight down. It actually comes out forward. And that's what the cuts in the unit here do, is it lets you cut with your hand. You hear that? I asked my friend Dan what that is, Dan the IT man, and he says that's because they're using a um, brushless motor, and the magnets are just those super fucking strong neodymium, so when it actually stops spinning, it bounces a little bit on the magnetism of the motor. That's why it makes a boom. And also it's probably shaking the wall because the wall is slightly thinner due to pocket doors, which by the way, every door in my house is basically a pocket door. And I kind of like it. Um, so right, backsplash is dealt with because I have a towel here, it catches any real thing. I do a quick dry before I do the full dry. It's up higher, which I can work fine. I'm six feet tall, I can do this. It's harder to do this is not an angle no one wants to do, but this is fine. Um, also, if I do, I like, get out of the shower, and I'm not, I guess I'm proud of this fact. Well, I have a hair dryer, or I could do this, and then put my head in here. And oh. Headphone warning. I am a headphone reviewer, I should understand headphone warnings. But yeah, no, I could stick my head, literally put my hand here to activate it, and then rotate my head under this side. See how it's not coming on? It doesn't false positive almost ever. It knows I'm not trying to dry my hands, but if I am trying to dry my hands. It's fucking science. Now, was it worth $850? I would rather have paid $450 for it. Back when it was a choice between the $700 and the $800 version, and I was like, I want the stainless steel one, because the, the, the other one was white plastic and it looked like shit. This one isn't stainless steel. It's still plastic, so I'm kind of sad I didn't get an OG one, but I'm pretty sure this is now the Rev 2, which does all this other stuff. Here, by the way, are the intakes, left and right. And there's no filters on these, because the filters are up next to the motor assembly, which I haven't priced that out. Um, just realized there's, is this still something up here? Well, that's just dirt. HEPA Dyson Air Blade. Huh, you're supposed to be mounted lower. I'll have to wipe that off. Uh, anyway, so yeah, um, I love this thing. It sounds great. It measures terribly on every headphone recording rig. I don't understand why. The only concern I really had was placement and power because I was going to put one in my old apartment that I was renting. I was going to fucking mount it to the wall and I was going to run a wire up and across the drop ceiling and then down and plug it into the fucking sink that was there. And just because it's a thousand watts, which is less than the hairdryer uses. So, I mean, it's not like, oh, my God, it's so much. I wouldn't run two of these in the same circuit because that would probably definitely blow something up. But I, I just... There's something about having like completely dry hands when you wash them and not just like towel dried and then like like you're doing, you're still doing this. They're just dry. And the putting my head underneath it is so fucking nice. So yeah, I just had to do this video because I don't want to spend $850 and did not get a video out of it. It's two days of my life and your life. We have to deal with this. But I will also link to an Amazon Echo Studio. Echo, uh, play Samba music. You know what the fucked up thing is? The Echo Studio is the best microphone one. Like it hears everything. Echo, play Samba music. Samba and Agua Fresca from Spotify. Echo, next track. bad bathroom and that five and a quarter the down fires shakes this room i just don't know what music to put on oh what's the um 
Echo, play the theme of Glenn Burroughs. Hmm, I don't know that. Yeah, it just doesn't have Michael Box. I know it's on Spotify though. Echo, play the theme of Glenn Burroughs from Metal Megalo Box. Hmm. Oh, she sucks. Anyway, yeah, that's up there. So that's an audio related thing. So now this video makes perfect fucking sense. What does Zeus use in his bathroom? That. I do have to fucking blast it though to get it through the glass of the shower. Anyway, I this is just a weird video. I'm probably gonna do if I do like weird stuff like this, I may not do them on the review channel, even though this is Z reviews, not Z audio reviews. So if I'm reviewing a bidet that I end up fucking returning or a goddamn Dyson hand dryer, which, which, ah, uh, it's so warm. It's not just warm. It's warm with science. It's science warm. Um, if I end up doing these reviews, they'll probably end up here. Fuck it. The secondary channel, the sound demo channel, is going to start getting some weird drop-off videos, like things that I would usually live stream, but I don't want to put on the unboxing channel, but I also don't want to put on this channel. So if you're not subscribed to the sound demo channel, go do that, because there's going to be different things showing up there, things that I don't want to put on this channel because fear of low views. I feel like we'll get at least 10,000 views in the first day here, right? If you're looking at, if you're watching this the first day I came out, there's not 10,000 views down there. You haven't shared this with enough of your friends and family. I don't want to tell you to subscribe, but I want to tell you to like, to comment, bullshit. You'll do that if you want to do that. What I will tell you to do is send this to some motherfucker who needs a goddamn hand dryer. Let them watch, witness the cleanliness. Because it bothers me looking at the internals and saying, how much is this fucking thing? Because I guarantee you could build one for like 300 bucks. But Dyson has, you know, they've perfected their motors. They, their sensors are fucking great. The manufacturing to get that like one millimeter slit down the thing to throw the air. You're paying for the name, but you're also paying because everyone fucking already uses Dyson. I hate that the lowercase d, man. Get rid of that fucking lowercase d. So I'm done. I'm gonna keep this as short as possible. I'm Zeus Pantera. There's your wallpaper. Literally a wall paper today. Um, I'll link to that, and if I could find the original artist, how the fuck am I gonna find that? I have to take a picture of that and then use reverse image search on my phone. It'll be fine, it'll be fine, it'll be fine. We're gonna do great, do great things. Also, what would you do with this bathroom, real quick? Because I've got that like massive space up there. By the way, those pots came with the house. I don't like them. I feel like that needs a mural of some sort, like a tropical island. It's just so much fucking space. It sucks. Anyway, Patreon subscribe star to see reviews early because this is an important one, boys and girls. You all want to be part of the first comments on the Dyson hand dryer V review. Um, see reviews early. Participate in yard sales, which I won't be selling any previous hand dryers. You can also access the Sandema Oasis channel. Um, for $10 a month, you get to the behind the scenes patronage chat where I will help you and answer any questions you have, along with 200 other people there who will help you and answer any questions you have. And those people will get access to a lifetime swap meet channel where they can buy, sell, and trade gear with each other. Um, beyond like all the other, it's just private for that little, little space. And um, Hi Fi Guides and the Hi Fi Guides Forum, where I guess this is a very hi fi, it's a very hi fi thing because it makes high pitched sounds when it, when it goes. And then it goes, wait, wait. It makes that sound. So yeah, that, 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 that. I'm sorry if I wasted your time, but I'm happy if I've made you jealous of my hand dryer because that's really what this channel is all about. Selling hand dryers. Anyway, see you in two days. Weird.